They have one million followers? They got that many? They have over one million. They almost have 1,500. They got a million trillion. What do you mean 1,500? They have a double they million. They have almost 15. Uh, a double million. Like, uh, 15. Uh, 15 million? 1.5 million. Almost 1.5 million. <clears throat> They All got right. that many followers? I thought it was much less. No, you're a liar. Let me text my wife here. Text your... Oh, we're rolling. Oh, she faxed, yeah, fact check in, fact check in. <laughs> go ahead. I don't mind being on my phone during the podcast. Do you guys can start? All right, fuck him. You em. should bring it in, Dean. Why? Why bring me? Bring it in, Dean. Hi, welcome to In the Mouth of Music. Today, <laughs> we're actually going to do a band that I... Oh, my God. I love this band. I couldn't wait to you do You know, no matter band. how shitty you do it, we're still going to make you bring it in uh, once in a while. No, it's all right. And this band has been like, oh, my God. Um... My life would be incomplete without this band. Um, they play guitar really well. Um, All right, shut up. Yeah. It's fucking Machine Head. Awesome. Love Machine Head. Kind of. Everybody loves Machine Head. Kind of. They had, they, 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 everybody loved Machine Head once in their life. Maybe. So, except for maybe Diego. He, he's kind of a ball buster. I am um, a little bit of a ball bust when I, it comes to this type of. I want to stuff. start with saying that "Burn My Eyes," their debut album, is, in my eyes, <laughs> which are not burned, is the second best metal album ever. Oof! No way. Yes. Wow. I fucking love it. That's gay. There's so much. <laughs> no. There's so much good shit on that album, and it's a perfect album in my eyes, from front to back. It's right behind Master Puppets. As far as a metal record, are we going to are we gonna make bets on this that he's going to give it a C? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> no, I, I fucking love the album. That's that's all there is to it. It's just it's it's a fucking great album, and at the time, it is great. The production's great. I'll give you this. Yeah, their production, every album. Yeah, did it? Really who, 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 did it Colin, did it Colin Richardson okay. can, uh, produce the first that. album? Not sure. I can give you that, man. Anything they've ever recorded is top notch. Way better than Metallica. It doesn't say who who produced well, it. Oh, yeah, it does. Produce, it has to say. It does. It does. It will. It's or consult in the Oracle. Uh, no, 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 no. I don't know. It should go in credits. Go into go into credits. Go into credits. Go take off album thing. Uh, tr- uh, track. Uh, oh my God. We're totally blowing it here. Yeah. here. Look it up. Oh, it's, it's, uh, I'll talk. It's sliding eyes. up and down. Sliding so, up and down. So. How'd you find? I, I think I think that their their first the the first album is is like a perfect record. I love it. Still to this day, I can listen to it front to back. I mean, you're a machine you know head I mean? fan. I'm um, I'm not a fan, so I can't I do am. That. Although nobody fucking likes Supercharger because it's a pile of shit. Okay, like no, they fell on their face on that album. You know what I mean? They didn't fall on their face. They fucking, they crushed they that. Fell sh- into a gutter. They crushed that shit like Hank Williams falling Where'd off a go? fucking uh fucking mountain, dude. Um. Yeah, well, yeah, pretty much. Um, <laughs> pretty much. The, bur- the Burning Red was no better, neither. The Burning Red was a little better. The Burning um, Red was their attempt at sounding like fucking corn. It was like, I think it was even yeah. produced by Ross Robinson. Probably, like, yeah. It was like, oh, we're going to sound like corn. We're going to change our style. It's like everybody was like, fuck you guys. <laughs> but but They even did Message in a was, Bottle, which is but, horrible. But they're famous for doing this, Machine Head. What? For changing their sound like that in their album. A bit. Well, not I, when I you not when you they, had a good sound. I would say they've they've evolved as players well, I, to a to a, a fault. Hold on, they've evolved to players as a fault to a fault because <laughs> the blackening <laughs> when the blackening came out. Yeah, there was like a, a big amount of time between that and the, the previous album, and it came out and it started their new their new writing style. Which was Ugh. make every song epic, epically epic in an epic, epic sense. But what like, they what they, re- they neglected to understand was epic didn't mean that you don't necessarily necessarily need to make the song ten minutes long. You just right. need to make yeah. the song really good. No, no right. It's gotta, it's so, gotta, the song's got to feel important. So yeah. the blackening yeah. may have I don't know ten songs, but technically there's there's like probably twenty good songs on there. <laughs> well, well, that's what I mean. You know, you know what I mean? So like every, every they got carried away. They got they got over indulgent in their in their writing. And everybody sucked their dicks after that. They album. learned how to write a really epic song, and so they made them all that way, which I think is a bad combination. It's like you know when you have an album, 
all your songs need to be good, but it, it's, it'd be cool to think of the whole album as opposed to each song where like the album has a crescendo, you know, and then, you know, like, but every one of their songs on the newer stuff are amazing, you know, guitar wise, like, holy shit. Like just really, really, really well, I amazing. I would say their newer stuff is more simplistic. Their new, new no. stuff is very simplistic. I honestly, I haven't yeah. heard any of their newer shit because man, it's after, very melodic. After, after the last couple it's very albums, very melodic. Yeah. Very melodic. It's very melodic. It's very sing along. <laughs> and when you make things melodic and sing along, it's not, fucking intricate you know after I mean? after not... after the last couple albums i just had to give up on them because they were just making too many fucking i mean their their new long. their new 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 album their new, which new, I the new 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 very sing-along i mean i mean they get, I like they... the song locust yeah no song. i'm not saying they're bad songs they're just too fucking long you know i saw the new, i saw the new um, album the songs are all short well, maybe they fixed well, it. Well, maybe they fixed yeah. the problem. I stopped. I, the thing dude, I literally you, stopped listening to their new stuff because I thought all the songs were going to be 14 you, minutes You long. listen to the new album, and there'll be a, 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 a digital, like a, like a synth, synth song, you know, synth, synthesized song. Mm-hmm. And then there'll be like a, like a metal song, like a la, a la their old stuff. And then there'll be like a, a Dropkick Murphys style song. Huh? Why would they have a Dropkick Murphys song? I, I don't to, believe it's you. Right in the middle of the, it's right in the middle of the album. I don't believe you. Right in the middle. It's like a fifth or sixth song. And it, I'm not wrong. <laughs> you need to listen to the fucking album. The, so, the album we is very are melodic. At the ballpark. There's a Everybody reason. Love us all. There's a reason why their new album <laughs> is their most popular and highest selling album. That's I mean, fucking. I don't like it. Like I said, if you sell a thousand albums, you're fucking on. You're number one right now. Catharsis. So. <clears throat> the more things change was really good. I, I would totally say burn my it. eyes and more things change are like yeah, the best ones. Yeah. Um but like I said, Supercharger was was kind of a the huge turd. Um <laughs> well it also got like, a bad it also know, got a bad rap. Reds, you know you were in It also got a bad rap. <laughs> like, that album came out the week after 9/11. It's also dude, you know when a when a me- when the main member of the band that has, has dreads, he bad. also like, dreads his hair. You no, the album's gonna suck. He likes Dexter Holland, bro. Oh, you know? holy shit. Dexter Holland just fucking braided his hair like Predator. <laughs> <laughs> so, so that that's that's my problem is I I actually saw um you know Rob Flynn has a uh, like a I don't know if it's a podcast or a, a oh, blog. A, he has a blog. A, he's a mouthy. It was it was a blog, and he's very outspoken, which I can I can appreciate. But he posted this thing where he was like complaining about how <laughs> how opening bands don't get enough time to suck to 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 suck on stage to play a full set well yeah you know the they're like you're like you know we only get you know uh 40 minutes it's like four songs that's four songs because you all your songs are fucking 10 minutes long i'm and i actually i wrote it on his on his i replied in the comments i'm like i'm like well if you didn't write songs that were 12 minutes long you could play more songs yeah, you know like he was he was bitching about that he could Oh, it sucks. We can only get up to play four songs. I'm Everybody like, else is sucking dick, and Brian problem, and Scott's over here like, "Fuck you, bitch! Stop writing twelve minute songs." Yeah, like they don't all like. If you had one per album that was an epic twelve minute fucking Do an Iron Man and make thing, a, make you know, a fucking like, one twelve minute fucking song, yeah, you're okay. But you don't have to awesome. make every fucking song. But Iron Man and that's another fucking story because every single make fucking some fucking song ragers is... and then have a, a big epic tune. You know at what? The I, end. You know what I do like about them? They're uh... What their songs are about and the lyrics, it's not all imagination heavy metal bullshit. So I do like that part about them. Yeah. Hey, yeah, I'll, I'll give you, I'll shit. give you a good yeah. example. I, you know, I Bohe- do like that part of the band. Bohemian Rhapsody is like five minutes long and it's epic. <laughs> I mean, I don't really. Wow. Know. Right good there. Point. Good I point. Yeah. Right there. Yeah, ex- it's an excellent point. Yeah. It's it's five minutes. It's what five about, or six wait, minutes long. I, I, I can even top that. Hey, that fucking song. Oh, yeah, epic song. Just, I wouldn't, no, say, that. I wouldn't no say that. I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say it's epic. It's just catchy. That's just kind of catchy. But dude, every, like, every, Bohemian Rhapsody is, is pure that musical. Was, genius. That was a song that they played at every stadium before Bohemian Rhapsody. Well, yeah. yeah. Uh, that's what made it's just, it. No, they, it's that catchy that and we, simple. We, that's why they that made it. That was We Are the Champions or We Will Rock You. Yeah. But before that, it was that Hey, Hey, Hey song. They never played Bohemian Rhapsody. Before that, they peed in each other's mouths. Yes. No, you guys are incorrect. <laughs> uh, no, you. I. <laughs> All right, stop. Fight. <laughs> Fight. No, Bohemian Rhapsody sucks. I saw. I saw. Oh! That band sucks. God. European queers. Oh my yeah. god. Dude. Yeah, Machine Head's right. way better than those guys. Right. Anyway, we're getting off track. Sorry. 
I uh, I saw Machine Head last year, and they were fucking phenomenal. I mean, it was right before um, the guitar player and the drummer left the band. Yeah, the guitar player left. Yeah. Phil DeMille. Yeah, Phil DeMille, yeah. yeah. He's pissed off at the new direction. Yeah, yeah. so it's like it was right. It was, new it was directions. His, Listen it was to Rob. Like, it was his like fare, farewell sure. tour. Yeah. And holy fuck, were they good. They played like two and a half hours. Like they played all kinds of shit, tons of all the all the good shit. Anyways, tight as fuck, really good, really really good. And um, they were gonna come back out before the whole COVID thing, and uh, do the whole. Um, it was like the what was it, the twenty something anniversary of Burn My Eyes was coming up, and they were gonna do. They got the original lineup back together with Logan, with Logan and the drummer, and they were getting ready to go. I forget, can't remember the drummer's name, um, but um, drummer, boy. drummer boy, little drummer. And they were getting ready to go out on tour, and then the whole COVID thing happened. I'm like, fuck. Like, they were, they were like, posting, like, live, like, them, like, rehearsing and yeah, stuff. Yeah, because Rob, Rob has to do something to get his, uh, some his ego some, stroked. His ego stroked and then get a little motivation going behind yeah. the band because nobody was, like, everybody's like, eh. Yeah. So, my, my best friend, JC, he, he tried out for Machine Head when they lost their, their first drummer or fired him or whatever happened. Right. But, uh, yeah, he flew out to California and, and tried out for him and stuff and, and, uh. They asked him, it was, they it asked was, him where he's from, and then they said no thanks. Yeah, they didn't. They didn't I kind of want to pay the moving costs, yeah. you know. But it was cool to listen Sucks, to him. Doesn't it? Listen to him play the entire album front to back, just hearing the drums, because the drumming on the first album is fucking sure. incredible. Yeah. Really, yeah, really, no, really, really, stuff. really good. And uh, so that was, that was drumming, super cool. The whole, whole yeah, thing is good. Yeah. yeah, but JC nailed it. Like yeah. he he nailed it all. I mean, like I said, they've they've dumbed it down as they've gone. When they got to the blackening. The guitar work became a lot more technical, and the and the and the uh, the songs became longer. Right, you know, but, whereas but like that in the totally, beginning it was but more that concise. Totally stopped in the last two albums. Okay. Those last two albums are totally. There's like synth pop music in the new album. Like I said, there's they're super easy to sing to, super catchy, very melodic. It doesn't sound like Machine Head. That new album, Catharsis, whatever the hell it's called. I, I heard a lot of people do not like that album. Oh, everybody hates it because it's because they not changed Machine directions Head. again. It's not Machine Head, you know. And oh, they, it's a band that doesn't change... stick to their own. They don't stick to their own merits. They well, they, they, don't they have, keep on changing the please have, of well, the, audience the audience instead of yeah, pleasing exactly, themselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I think that new album is pretty good. Cool. So you like pop it's music? Cool. It's not my taste, <laughs> but I can sing along to it. And I do, like I said, I do like their song, like what they're about and stuff. And I, you know, I like that they're not singing about Dungeons and Dragons and. Pretend soldiers, you know, and fucking and beer, Sandman and sailboats. <laughs> I mean, really, I'm singing about sailboats. What are sailboats? <laughs> Pirates. They're called scooters. Schooner, not Sailing. a scooters. All right. Whatever. The scooters when you ride when I'm checking you out from behind. Whoa. Hey, hey, hey. All right. Um, let's rate this bitch. Oh, machine head. Yeah. What are you going to give him? What am I going to give him? Yeah. You're like, I love machine head. I love machine head. But you got to take into account that you hate the new stuff. And you you just said that you hate more than 50%. I give him it. a solid C. Right wow. in the middle. Yeah. Right in the middle. I like it. C. Go ahead. You go. D. Ooh. Really? I give him a D also. Ooh. Yeah, I, I give him a D. The, the first two albums are the only thing that's fucking good. Everything else after that has been like this stuff. You know what? It's weird. The first two, they're okay. They're good. They were cutting edge. They're good. They're not great. The stuff in the they're middle good. is first atrocious. Atrocious. And their yeah. new album, I, it's... I don't like it, but I, I just, can see I just why felt, it's popular. I just you know felt I mean? like like from the it was that the through the ashes or whatever through the, the fuck ashes it's of vampires. Yeah, <laughs> through the ashes of fucking lesbians. Uh, that one was just whatever. And my friend, I remember a friend told me about that album. He was like, "Oh, it's a really good album." That was two thousand three. Then the Blackening came out. They're like, "Oh my god, it's amazing!" Everybody was like, "Oh my god, it's the so Black amazing!" Thing was crazy for and sure. I, like it's just it just sounded like fifteen songs in one song. Yeah, and I was just like, "It's just too much." I was like, "Where the fuck is this going?" It was like a heavy. Three. Why is this going in this direction? It was like I, a heavy three eleven. Yeah, I just didn't understand <laughs> it. I was just like, I don't know. Then Locust. That, like un, the unto the Locust. The song is. The song is the fucking song awesome. Is fucking killer. The song is killer. Super heavy. Super heavy. Uh, but other than that, the album itself is like eh. Convoluted. And I just I just stopped listening to them after that. I was like, nah. Yeah, I haven't heard the new record. Yeah, because I, was, I didn't bother. So I was just like, whatever. You know what? We'll listen to it well, together I, and you'll see. I will show we'll do a you. recap. 
We'll do a recap, and I will show you what every song is. What band? Just Rob is. Rob Flynn just sounds like a it's fucking hilarious. egomaniac, and sometimes he sometimes it reflects in their music. You know, a funny I mean, dude, they got a song. Hey. I swear to God, it says "Tripping Out to Boston." Oh, there's maybe a song. he's making fun of them because he likes no, to make fun of bands. Dude, he's not making fun. Dude, of them. they're on he's, his. You know, uh, listen, what doing, listen. you know what he's doing? I need to sell some records. On his blog <laughs> thing, he called out Five Finger Death Punch. He was like, "They're the best, uh, like metal cover band ever." <laughs> And well, like, whatever he's they, like, make, they make every more one of their, than he every one of their songs say, yeah, now that's a big sounds band. like another band song he's right but, yeah he's but, totally right i mean he's not right but he's no not. he is right listen to any five finger death punch song look it, does, like it, it, it doesn't it's a, they're very popular they're, oh, i'm not saying they're not huge it, but, but the thing about but the thing about was elvis yeah he was a fucking karaoke guy the reason why stuff like five finger death punch sounds like everybody else is that's the main reason why it's so fucking popular Right, because they just rip off shit from other bands. I wouldn't say rip off. They take a little bit from everything and they put it all together, and it sounds like everybody else when you mix it all together. <laughs> and they're popular. It's know? kind of, it's kind of like a Frankenhooker. Yeah, it's like a Frankenhooker. Yeah, Frankenhooker. I, I don't like them either. Frankenhooker. You know, I think he's right. I think <laughs> you're right. I think you're absolutely right about a band like Five Finger Death Punch. But bro, they got. Bro. They know what they're doing. Oh yeah, they I'm not denying records, that, yeah. but they're not original but bro. whatsoever. Yeah. Well, no, Machine Head was original it, until they decided yeah. to change their sound like 15 yeah, million Head times. Yeah, Machine Head went from original to... <laughs> <laughs> Rob Flynn was like, I'm just going to copy every sound, and I'm going to make myself p- sound like I'm intelligent while I fucking play it. Poor Machine Head. <laughs> yeah, Rob, you had dreads. Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> Everything you say is stupid. Hey, Rob, I still have my windbreaker. Yeah. Yeah. Yay. Whoosh. Windbreakers. You sold windbreakers. Whoosh. Yay. Whoosh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. D, C, D. Hey, you know what? You need to pick more bands, and I love it when you give them bad ratings. You like that? I like know. That? What did I say? What did I say? He said a C, right? <laughs> yeah, Every shit. band he fucking likes is fucking C. It's a C. What the <laughs> fuck? I'm like, oh, I like this band. I love it. No, I, I love this band. It's got the greatest fucking album. Love this album. C. C. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're out. <laughs> fuck you guys. Appetite for Destruction, number one album. Machine Head, number two. Give him a C. C. <laughs> <laughs> What he meant by C is he's Spanish, so therefore he's saying yes. <laughs> C.